dialing another number. Okay, bro. Three nine nine three four six. That concludes our raffle. Thank you. Can you hold up your child? Thank you. Thank you all. All right, Dr. Nina. All righty. Thank you, Doctor. All right. Okay. Is it a Robux gift card? No. Hold on. Huh? Uh, hold on, I'm hold on, I'm doing twelve different things. Why is full program to these songs? Okay, don't don't worry about it. Okay. No lights. No lights. Pass the deal to you on the middle, and then what I need you to do. Can you add? Uh, let everybody know who take uh, gifts on the table back there. Uh, Cat of corner, that back wall. Okay, let's get for it and we'll go. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I have me and my wife, Evangelist Jackie. Amen. Have the dubious honor of being your masters of ceremonies tonight. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. I hope you're excited. Are you excited? Amen. Amen. I see folks there eating. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask, amen, if you if you need to get that last bite, amen, to go ahead. Amen. And uh, expeditiously as you can, come on, move towards the sanctuary. Amen. As we get ready to start service. Amen. And anybody looking forward to the last service of 2022? Amen. Come on, you made it. You made it. Amen. Listen, if you haven't already known, amen, the 360 camera is located to the back. Amen. We got folks already taking pictures. Please make sure that you go towards the back. Amen. Get your picture. Amen. And I don't know if you ever had the 360 camera. It's pretty cool. Come on, the iPhone goes in a 360-degree direction. Amen. Great for Facebook and Instagram. Amen. As you welcome loved ones, amen, into the new year. Uh, also, one more thing, amen, um, more announcements. There's some prizes, amen, at the raffle table. If you haven't gotten a prize, amen, there's still a couple of little doohickeys there up in the front, amen, so you can see, amen, the table in the front, amen. Amen. We're going to go ahead and get started. Is that okay? Yeah. Amen. How many know we are a praying church? Amen. There's a lot of things that we do. Amen. But I think praying, amen, is what we are known for. Amen. How many know we are a praying church? Praise God. Amen. We're going to open up in prayer. Amen. Sister Jackie, did you want to say something to the saints real quick? <laughs> okay. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord God. We worship you and we magnify your name, God. We thank you, Father God, as we stand under an open heaven. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for the commencement of December 2022, God. And as you are preparing us to move into a new year, God, we worship you one last time. We bless you one last time. We say thank you, Lord God. We give you our last 2022 praise, God. We just worship you and give you glory, God. Father, we thank you for bringing us, Lord God, through the Januaries and the Februaries and the Marches and the Aprils and the Mays and the Junes and July in the August, in the September, in October, and November, God, and you brought us to this month. 
Father, thank you for keeping us from danger seen and unseen, God. Father, thank you for answering prayers, Lord God. Father, that were laid rest before you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, Father, for being in places, oh God, that we were not, Father. When we weren't able to be present, Father, your spirit was present. Father, we thank you for touching hearts, God. Father, that we couldn't move or discourage, God. We thank you, Lord God, today that, Lord, the heart of the King, Lord God, in 2022 was in the hands of the Lord God, and you turned it whichever way you chose. Father, we thank you for blessing us and encouraging us. And God, as we prepare, Lord God, Father, to enter in into 2023, God, we thank you for the grace of God. Father, we thank you, Father God, for this service tonight, God. We thank you for those that are watching, Father, Lord God, on Facebook and YouTube, Father, and social media outlets. We pray that the grace and the anointing of God that is in this sanctuary removed past virtually. We thank you for moving into the virtual realm, Lord God, on tonight. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for our dear apostle, Shireen Lathan. God, we thank you for answering the prayers, God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for every prayer watch that called out her name, God. Father, we thank you today, Lord God, for keeping her as you've kept her, for not letting one promise, Lord God, return to your void, God. We thank you, Lord God, today as we enter in. Father, bless, Lord God, the worship service. Father, bless, Lord God, Father, the psalmist, Lord. Bless the word of the Lord, God, as we prepare. Lord God, waiting, Lord God, Father, hastily to what you will have to say to us. God, we praise you and we magnify you, Lord God. And Father, we give you glory and honor and praise, God. We thank you that we stand in bated breath. We thank you we stand with the joy of the Lord. We thank you that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, Lord God, was able to keep our hearts and minds, Lord God, in 2022 and is able to move forward in 2023, Father and let all those, Lord God, hallelujah, that still have an amen on the inside of you, that still walk in agreement, Father, with what you are about to do, that have a thankfulness and a gratitude to stand. Lord God, when some couldn't make it, Father, to this day, that some didn't walk in some doors, Lord, in December 31st, 2022, God, God, you graced us, God. You were faithful to us, oh God. Father, we thank you and we bless you. And God, we welcome the grace of God, Father, in the grace of your sweet communion, Father, in this sanctuary. God, we give your name praise. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For those in Waukegan that are watching online. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you for Sister Esther, Lord God, and Apostle Tommy. We love you. Amen. And we love all those that are watching online from the other, amen, neighboring sister churches. God, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, and let's give God some praise. What's up? Y'all excited about the new year? 23, all things new. They say the Jordan year. I say Psalms 23 year. Come on, let's clap our hands. For he's been everything to you. If he's been everything to you this year, all, all year around, your whole life, somebody give him glory. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say, he's been everything to me. Turn to your other neighbor and say, he's been everything to me. He's going to keep being everything to me. Whoa. Let's go. Come on, let's start this party off. Whoa. Yeah. As soon as that music starts, we can get this party. Hey. Yeah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I hear by the Spirit of the Lord that I shall give you beauty for ashes in this season. He said, Yes, I shall give you double for your trouble. He said, But know as I'm navigating and orchestrating and bringing down a plumb line. He said, And I am doing a new thing in this house. He said, Yes, I am building upon the foundation that's been laid. He said, But I shall give you dreams and visions. He said, And I shall make ways out of no way. He said, And there shall be manifested miracles on your behalf, on your family's behalf. And as he began to deal with me, even about the network, he said, I am orchestrating, I am changing, I am rearranging. He said, And those who are in the back, he said, I am bringing them to the front. He said, Think it not strange. The dreams and the visions that you've had. He said, think it not strange. The nudging in the midnight hour to get up and pray and seek my face. He said, think it not strange. The clarity of you hearing my voice. He said, I call you forth. He said, and as you move and navigate, he said, no, that there shall be an influx of souls and programs and grants and scholarships that shall come in this house. He said, and those, he said, I shall glean upon my people. He said, and you win. He said, and I am very pleased that you did not move, that you did not leave. He said, and that you care, you were cheerful, give us. You were cheerful in the things that you've done. He said, and I did not forget. He said, I sit high, but I look low. He said, know that I love you with an everlasting love. He said, and you need not understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. He said, trust me. He said, I am stretching you and I am stretching your faith. He said, and even through the seasons that you've gone through these perilous times and lawlessness that's in the land, he said, you have been anchored in the Lord. He said, because Jesus, my son, he said, that is your anchor. He said, and as long as you glean on my word, and as long as you stay in my will, he said, there was nothing that I shall not do for you. He said, so get ready. You win. He said, and I'm very pleased. Thus said the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 Thank you. 
In the morning I say you
in the good and great and mighty God. Come on, let's everybody stand and let's sing our fellowship song. We're going to sing our fellowship song for the last time in 2022. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hey. Always wanted to do that. Amen. God bless you, Liberty. Make some noise. Come on. How many know the ball may be getting ready to drop outside? Amen. But we're not dropping any balls in here tonight. Come on. God is keeping us and keeping us. Come on. There'll be no more balls dropping in your life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Again, welcome, Liberty Temple Full Gospel Church and Outreach Ministries. Amen. My name is Pastor Dear Massey, and again, my wife, Jacqueline, we just want to again welcome you tonight, amen, to Liberty's New Year's Worship Service. Amen. Man, thank God for all those that are on Facebook, Twitter, and all your social media platforms. We thank God for you. Thank you for serving and, and, and streaming with us tonight, amen. We first want to honor our apostle. Come on, I don't know if you felt the atmosphere change. Amen. But we thank God for Apostle Shireen Lathan. Make some noise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Today, tonight's theme is the year of recompense. Amen. The year of recompense. Sweetheart, do you know what the word recompense means? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She says, don't set me up. Amen. 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 The dictionary defines the recompense as the return 
of something old because of damages. Amen. The term something old, amen, that word recompense also is kin to the word reparations. I, I, I don't know if you I don't know if you heard that word. I, I didn't make up the thing the thing tonight. Let me say it over here. The thing tonight is the year of recompense. The dictionary defines recompense as returning of something old because of damages. I don't know if you've suffered for something, but there is a declaration this year, amen, that God's going to return, amen, something that is returned to you, amen, amen, glory to God, glory to God. Well, I don't know about you all tonight, but we are in a treat, amen, this is a treat, amen, so I'm, I'm intergenerational, you know, I got a little old school in me, you know, and a little millennial in me, you know, I stand in two places. And so my old school hat remembers, amen, one of the great psalmists, amen, that came out of Motown, amen, slash gospel town, amen, Detroit City. Anybody remember, amen, the whinings? Anybody remember? Come on. Amen. Well, there was another great man of God that came out of that city, John P. Key. Anybody know John P. Key? Amen. Well, we are so blessed tonight to have one of his spiritual sons in the house. Amen. And we know that he brings that grace. Amen. All the way. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. Come on. In 2014, God blessed him. Amen. To amen. promote one of his songs. Amen. That hit the billboards, gospel billboard list. Amen. Reloaded in 2014. Amen. And now he has an album released. Amen. In September. Amen. So we want to support him. Amen. You can download it. Amen. On of any of your music and social media platforms. Amen. So without further ado, we thank God. Amen. For our minstrel, our minister tonight, our psalmist. Amen. Brother Zacardi Gortez. Amen. Give God a liberty welcome. Bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. If you glad God is still making miracles happen, if you glad God is good, he's bringing us into a new year, I need y'all to make some noise like you crazy tonight because God is a good God. Come on, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Y'all do me a favor and sit on down. I am so grateful, man. I am I am so grateful. It is an honor to be here tonight. God is a good God. I can't come comfortable tonight because we're going to have some church in here. Is that all right? Can we have a little church tonight? That food smell real good, so I'm a... I'm going to try not to get uh, beside myself. Can y'all do me a, a real huge favor? And I need y'all to go crazy, crazy and make some noise for Apostle Lathan tonight, y'all. Come on! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Y'all sit on down. I'm not going to talk too long. But um, I do want to show the woman of God some love tonight. Can we do that one more time and give her all the glory and all the praise that she's due? Can y'all make some noise for Apostle Lathan tonight? I want to sing a few songs, and I'm going to get on out y'all way tonight. 
Um, anybody glad that God is a good God? I thank God for Jesus tonight. Thank God for keeping me all year long. We go with Seashaw first. <clears throat> I got a little song, amen. Uh, a lot of y'all might not know, amen, who I am tonight, amen. I'm going to pray for you, amen. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just playing. My name is Zacardi Cortez. I'm from Houston, Texas, amen. And I'm glad to be worshiping with y'all tonight. I got a few songs in my favorite key of C sharp. Amen. A lot of times I like to warm up with these songs because a lot of people know these songs, but they didn't know I sing these songs. So I'm going to help you all tonight, all right? I got a little song that says, I, I just need my one-on-one time with you. With you. Cause Lord, I, I might be selfish, but I, I just can't help it. Lord, when it comes down, I said, Lord, I, I just need my one on one time with you with you lord because lord i i might be selfish but i i just can't help it hallelujah when it comes down I got another song that says, let your power fall when your name is called. Prove the doubt is wrong because you're still mighty and strong. So fight this battle for me, Lord. And help my unbelief so I can tell all my friends. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that you have won again. Now, if you came to give God some praise tonight, I need some real worshipers in here that can lift your hands toward heaven and say, Let your power fall. When your name is called, prove the doubt is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Because you're still mighty, still mighty and strong. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So find this battle for me. Wow. And help my unbelief so I can tell all my friends. I wish I had a witness in here tonight. I wish I had a church in here tonight. Anybody came to give God a praise in here? Somebody lift your hands and say, You have one. Again. Lord, we give you the glory tonight. Lord, we praise your name because you have won again. You have won again. You have won again. Lord, we give you the praise tonight. We give you the glory tonight. Somebody help me lift it up and say, You have won. 
Come on. Somebody say, you have won. Come on, say, you have won. Lord, we praise your name forever and ever. We give you the glory, Lord. You have won. Again, Lord, you again. Somebody lift your voice tonight. See you. You. I'll take you, Jesus. Somebody lift your voice and say, You have won. Oh, Lord, you have won. Yeah, oh, thank you, Jesus. One more time, everybody say, You have won. Come on. Uh, yeah. Let somebody give God a praise tonight. Come on, somebody give God a praise tonight. Ooh, yeah. Somebody give God a praise tonight. Little song says, Hallelujah. There's the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There's the glory. Lord, we need you to revive us again because you have won again. Everybody say, uh, yeah. I got another song that says, Oh, tell me who can stand be for us oh, when we when we call on uh, somebody help me say that great. Jesus, Jesus, God, precious, precious, somebody help me sing it tonight, say, we have the victory. Somebody give God a praise that they got the victory. I say, somebody give God a praise if you know you got the victory tonight. I say, somebody give God a praise if you know you got the victory tonight. Just look at somebody and say, I got the victory. Oh, we have the victory. Hallelujah. We have the Victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Anybody believe that tonight? No matter what it looks like, the devil is a liar. Come on, somebody help me. We have a victory. I know I got it tonight. Yeah. Can you point to yourself and say, I have, I have the victory. 
victory. Somebody lift your voice and say, I have. Woo! I got the victory tonight. And the devil can't take it from me. One more time, everybody say, We have a victory. Oh, we have. Victory. I just feel like having a little church to God. Be the glory. It's to God. Be all the glory. Can y'all help me to God? Be the glory. And it's for everything. Woo! I wish I had a witness. It's for everything. Yes, sir. All the ways you made for me, uh, everything he has, he has done. I thank God for 2022, amen. I thank God for keeping me all year. Come on up here. He's singing with me tonight. Y'all leave him alone. He took him. <laughs> he want to sing, y'all. Bible says out of the mouth of babes. Huh? See, at the end of the day, Chris, I can testify with my young brother because the truth of the matter is you don't know what I've been through. Let me share my story with you. the things that God has brought me through. I've had some stormy days and I've had some rainy days. But can I tell y'all something? You don't know all the tears I cried and the things I kept bottled up inside trying trying my best to be strong waiting on God anybody ever had to wait on God can I sing it like I mean it tonight you don't know what I had to endure you wonder why I'm so sure that my father he won't let me down but he's always around even when I can't see you you want to tell somebody you don't know how many times I pray I pray over and over but my situation did change. But just when, 
just when I felt like it was it. That's when Jesus turned it around. I said, Jesus turned it around. Has he ever turned it around for somebody? He did it again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. You want to tell somebody you don't know. You don't know. Don't know. Tell somebody you just don't know. But I've been through so much, y'all. I've been through heartache and pain. I've had sunshine. I've had rain. But tell somebody you don't know. Wow. Don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. Don't know. But listen, I've been through too much. God. Oh, thank you, Jesus, to worship him. I wish I had a real witness in here tonight that, that can lift your hand and say, I've been through too much. Yeah, God. I've been through too much, too much time. You don't know, you don't know. Somebody say, Dodo, hey, Dodo, yeah, Dodo, come on, you just don't know, let me tell you my story, can I tell you my story, listen, I started singing at the age of five, my mother put me on stage, I was so terrified, I didn't know me God had a plan for me to sing all over the world and it carried me through the belief. But it's my story, and I can't lie to you. I made some mistakes, not just one or two, but grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy brought me to it, and I'm here again because of God's grace. I'm here today because of God's grace. If it had not been, if it had not been, Lord, you caught up my head. But you don't know. I need somebody. You don't know. Just don't know. You, 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 you. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Yeah. Hey. You don't know what I've been through. Let me share my story with you. Yeah. All the things that God has brought me through. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. At 
to lift my hands and say, Lord, you've been good to me. 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 To me. Lord, you've been good to me. 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 Lord, you made a way for me. You made a way for me. Lord, you made a way for me. You've been Come on, can y'all help me lift that up tonight? Everybody say, you've been good to me. Come on. You've been good to me. Everybody sing, you've been good to me. Oh, Lord, you've been good to me. One more time, sing, you've been good to me. What would I be without your grace, God? You, you've been good. Oh Lord, you've been good. One more, listen. You provide for me, Lord. You provide for me. You provide for me. You've been good to. Come on, say, you provide for me. You provide for me. You provide for me. You've been good. If you know he's been good, say, you've been good to Everybody say, come on. You've been good to me. you've been to me. You've been good 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 to me. Lord, you've been good to me. 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 Lord, you've been good to me. Everybody say, you've been good to me. You've been good to me. When I look back over my life, See all the things that you brought me from good to Oh, you've been good to If it had not been for your love If it had not been for your grace I don't know where I'd be tonight Let me say it like I mean it Somebody say, you've been good to You've been good to somebody say you've been good. You've been good to yeah. You've been good. You've been good. Somebody say you've been good. Good to me. Say you be here. And I get a witness in here tonight. Has God been good to you tonight? Somebody say you be here. Stay right there. Somebody say you be here. If it had not 
I'ma leave it alone, but can I sing it like I feel it tonight? Oh, praise it. the keys. praise hallelujah 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 praise god praise the lord amen amen at this time amen amen if we know amen those that are in this house amen while you remain standing amen i don't know what you was doing before but we're gonna thank god amen for our apostle i said we're gonna thank god for our apostle first apostles Apostle Dr. Shireen Lathan. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, you know what I came to do. Uh, <laughs> Amen. I come uh, to collect your hundred dollars and your tithe. Amen. And then we're going to have our speaker come. So I want you to come up here with me as we bring our last offering for this year. You can come up, come up. Praise God. We thank God for those that are on online that uh, they're sending in their last donation for the year. Come on. Thank you. 
really dressed up. Father, we thank you. We bless this offering. We bless those that gave and those that did not have. And we give you glory for it, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stand and receive our speaker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise. Let's thank God for Apostle Lathan. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for all that you're doing. And God, we just give you glory and honor. And God, even as you download the prophetic word to me, God, let it fall on fertile ground tonight. Challenge us. Change us. Take us to a place that we have never been before. It's you that we love. It's you that we serve. It's you that we depend on. Because if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? And we just give you glory. Thank you, Lord, because a lot of people didn't make it, but we're still standing. I said we're still standing. We're still here. Come on. And it had not been for the Lord on our side. Look at somebody say, he's on our side. Where will we be? Come on and give God another praise because he's worthy. He's worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My God. I have so much to give you in such a short time. So I want to get right into the word of the Lord. I want to honor, again, Apostle Lathan. Come on. And uh, my friend, I also want to um, thank my husband for being here. Amen. Yeah. Pastor Michael Norman. My daughter, Prophetess Unique. Yeah. Amen. And my grandson, won't you stand and wave at everybody? Bryce. Amen. And I just want to thank God for them. You may be seated. Can we get into the word of the Lord? Amen. Are we supposed to have the lights dim? Okay, I want to see y'all. Can they cut them up just for, while I'm ministering and y'all can put it back down? Is that okay? Y'all all right with that? All right, I want to see you. Is that okay? All right. I want to be able to see. Plus, I need to be able to read my notes, you know. Amen. You know, I got my help in the Holy Ghost. But let me just give it, let me give you this. Uh, 2023, and the theme is the year of the recompense. And I want to really go into that. And y'all need probably need to take notes. Because, uh, oh my God, I was going to call him. Hey, Quentin, Pastor Quentin, amen. Thank God we were supposed to call you and we just, just got busy. Thank God he still came. But let me give you the word of the Lord. So um, we just got back from Ghana. We were in Ghana for like maybe almost two weeks. And uh, we were there with Archbishop Duncan Williams. I don't know if some of y'all know him. I was a speaker there. Over 30,000 people. And they have a prayer mountain where they, they actually hire about, what, 
40-some young men, and their job is to pray around the clock 24 hours. And they rotate, and they live on the prayer mountain. And they have a prayer wall there. And I'm telling you, being in Ghana really changed some things for me. And so he was asking us to go. We went up to the prayer mountain, and you could feel the presence of God and looked over the whole place. And uh, let me just tell you something. Their level of faith is totally different than ours. It was raining and storming, and 30,000 people, we were outside. But it wasn't raining and storming where we were. It was like we were right in the middle. We had drip drops. They spoke to the rain and the clouds, and the clouds move away, away from us. It was amazing. Nobody moved. Y'all know we got a little drip. We got our person left. And that would have been the end of us. And so I was dealing with something, and I didn't tell a whole lot of people. And I went to the prayer mountain, and I put all my prayer requests there. And it's just to show you what God is doing. And as I put my prayer requests there, I had two cysts. There were two cysts on my vocals. And they told me that the last visit that I had, they said, the doctor said to me, he said, it looks like it's getting worse. If you come back December 23rd and it's still on there, we're going to have to do surgery. He said, I really don't want to do surgery. He said, because it could come back. Plus, doing surgery, they make you sign a waiver that you could lose your voice. And then you can't talk for at least a month or two months. And how many know that ain't me? That ain't God. So I petitioned and I prayed to the Lord, and my daughter, she prophesied over me. My family was praying. And so December 23rd came, and I was real transparent in Clubhouse. I told everybody what I was going through. And so while I was there, you know, I went to the doctor. And so, you know, they put the tube down in you, and then you have the television screen for you to look at. I, don't want, I didn't want to look at it. The first thing came out of his mouth was, you got a lot of mucus in your nose. So I was like, oh, brother. So he said, one thing he said, it wasn't cancerous. So when I went before, so he said, so he said, what are you doing? And I was like, what you mean what I'm doing? He said, well, whatever you're doing, you need to keep doing it. And I said, what do you mean? He says, there's no cysts on your vocals. Oh, y'all, come on, come on. Come on, y'all need to give the Lord a praise. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me, he said, this is when we enter into 2023, we can we cannot that we got to break the spirit of tolerance. We have been tolerating poverty. We have been tolerating our kids and not acting right. We've been tolerating sickness and diseases. We've been tolerating a headache. We've been tolerating a backache. We've been tolerating being broke. We've been tolerating not having a job. We've been tolerating not struggling. And it got to the place that it became our norm. But God says, we break that off of you today. This would not be the year of you tolerating. When the headache comes, it's got to go then. God says, life and death is in the palm of your tongue. And so the Lord began to deal with me. My, my uh, tablet, I had my grandson use my tablet today and he missed and turned off the notes and now they all downloading. And I got like 3,000 notes and all my notes on there and they still downloading. But God, thanks be to God, they downloaded in my spirit. So what I wanted to say to you, this is a year of pain. So, you know, this is a year of the voice is what you have to speak what you want God to say. You got to release out of your mouth that sound. So God began to deal with me. I just got, and he says, what you're entering into is what's part of the recompense is divine recovery. Re you're going to, y'all don't understand. This is not a normal recovery for this will be the year of supernatural. It will be the year that God will put the super on the natural. You will begin to see things come up and happening in your life that is going to literally blow your mind. Because you it's a divine recovery. And when you're dealing with divine recovery, it's not only what you lost, but it's also who took from you, who stole from you. Who took your joy. And the days that you had to cry about it, the days that you, God is going to go all the way back even to the seven years in 
your lineage and things that were stolen from your mama them and grandpapa them. You get ready to get it back because this is the year of divine recovery. And God says, I am going to cause your name to be great. And the shame that was put on you, he says, I am, come on y'all. He says, I am going to cause divine recovery to come to you once again. I don't have time to do homiletics right now because I'm not up here this long, that long, but I need to give you the word of the Lord. So I'm going to show you this thing still downloading. Well, anyway, good thing I have it on the phone. So let me just show you this. I'm going to tell you this. This thing, oh, it's a, oh, it did it already. Okay, so let me give you this. So the Lord says, you're getting ready to lay hold of newness of this moment. There's getting ready to be an alignment, and the alignment is going to affect the generation. You're going to start prophesying the thing, and as we enter into this season, God is saying it is so important that he's raising up new troops. He's raising up a new tribe. You're not going to be able to go into this warfare by yourself, so you better get rid of all the stuff that you don't like about Miss Bessie and you don't like about Bebe and all these other folk, because you're going to need them on the front line, because I know that you want to hear that when we get into 2023, everything is going to be good. We're going to cross over come on y'all but I'm here to let you know we're crossing over but there's something that happened I had a vision the other day and I saw angelic hosts leaving the earth leaving heaven coming down on the earth and they were coming with swords y'all gotta get this up in here and when I, when you see a sword it means judgment is coming and it also means warfare so God is saying as I push you and launch you into your new season into your your divine recovery is not going to go without a fight. He says that you're going to war, but you're going to have the angelic assistance to be there with you, to war with you. So let me tell you something. Jezebel is coming down, and I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about structures. Come on. The Jezebel structure is coming down. Leviathan spirits is being broken. The python spirit that's been bound your neck, causing you to suffocate, causing you every time you get something, it's squeezing the very life out of you. Broken. We're talking about true divine recovery. And when the Lord began to show me these angels being dispatched, let me tell you something. We're going to have to war. That's why it's good you rest in December. Eat all the food that you can. Because you're getting ready to war. You're warring and you're dealing with a pharaoh spirit. That you're going to look at them and say, let my family go. Let my finances go. Let my people go. God says you're going to be able to stand stern, stern and firm and look your enemy in the eye and you're going to have to use your voice. So let me just tell you something. It is so important that you up your prayer life. And the reason why you got to up your prayer life is because you're going to find yourself in a battle and find yourself in a situation. And if you're not on a higher frequency, you're going to be sitting up there trying to figure out how I got here and how I'm going to get out. But if you're on a higher frequency, you'll be able to see how you got there and you'll be able to see your way out. Now, let me tell you something about Elijah. I was talking to my husband. I said, this messed me up. Elijah did all that fighting. Won the Baal gods and whipped them and had them all killed. Jezebel sends out an order and says, tell him what he did to them. By this time tomorrow, he's going to be dead. Huh. And something happened with Elijah's victory. The Bible says something you can look at in the first king because of time. He, the Bible says he saw what they said. When you start seeing failure, when you start seeing defeat, it becomes more powerful than even what you say. Because what it does, when you see it, it gets into the mindset. And he saw what they said. 
and it brought fear on him. Brought him scared. He was scared to die. So he went up to Jesus. He went to God, and God said, what's up? What's, what, what you doing here? He said, you don't know what happened? You God, didn't you hear the lady say she going to kill me? And Jezebel's structures is trying to kill the church. And if we're not careful, you go, you know what? The church used to be packed, and, 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 and now people don't want to come to church. They want to watch it online. And I thank God for you watching online. And, and look, and bring in fear. We still have to pay the bills of the church, and churches are losing their churches. People, are, pastors are losing churches. Churches are closing down. Can't pay the mortgage. Fear, because you're beginning to see it. You begin to see the structure of Jezebel. But see, what you don't understand is that this is not the year of the church. This is the year of the kingdom. Come on, y'all. This is a year of the kingdom. And with the kingdom arising, whatever kingdom is trying to arise is not of God, is coming down. Let me, let, me, let me just give you this. I'm, I'm trying. So t- let me tell you. So we're going we're gonna to come together, and, and God's going to start talking to us in a new way. And we're going to have to learn how to communicate with each other. And when we're communicating and we're getting marching orders, we got to be able to come together in unity. Even if we come from different cultures. We have to choose in this new era. We must become authentic in the world because God says, I'm going to demonstrate something in the world. Let me tell you something. When we begin to arise in 2023, we're going to do something the world has never seen. They're going to look at the people of God and say, I've never seen this happen before. Are y'all understanding this? You're going to break records like you've never seen before. You're getting ready to do stuff that you have never done before. You're getting ready to have stuff that you never had before. You're getting ready to shake this foundation like you've never shook it before. And the world going to look at you and say, what kind of God did they serve? Let me tell you something. You're going to do stuff that you've never done before that hell doesn't know it even have the remedy or they don't even have the strategy how to take you out. You're going to be so authentic that there's nothing that the devil has done can do to take you out. Because the Bible says that God is doing a new thing. Now, there's nothing new with God, but it's going to be new with the demon. They're going to look at you and say, I've never seen a generation like this. This generation will not bow down to Baal. I've never seen a generation like this. They won't bow down to cancer. They won't bow down to COVID. They won't bow down to anything, any disease. They're still giving God the praise. I've never seen nothing like it. Say we can't even kill them. Do y'all know what y'all did when we look at Apostle Lathan? Do you know what y'all did last year? We dealt with my husband having, supposed to have cancer and all that. Do you know what happened? Y'all took the sting out of death. Do y'all understand what happened? The sting was taken out of death. Death couldn't kill you. Diabetes couldn't kill you. Cancer couldn't kill you. The divorce couldn't kill you. The enemy don't know what to do with you. The songwriter said, because when you couldn't say a word, you had, all you had to do was raise your hand and power came out of your hands. Okay, let me give you this. We must ascend to a higher frequency. Okay, we getting that. There's going to be creative power riding up. We're going to have to adapt and learn in this new awakening. There's an awareness that's coming to you in this new dimension. You're going to war for the divine recovery. Conflict won't, because conflict don't want to let you go. You're returning to a new state of authority. And guess what? I got to tell you this. What is being created? Y'all better write this down. New supply. 
you getting ready. This is what God showed me. He said, tell the people of God, no, there's a new supply route. And God showed me it's over Chicago. It's over Illinois. He began to show me how he's filling up your storehouse because you're going to become a distribution center and you're going to be the one with new supply routes. That's why the devil wanted you to stop giving. That's why he wanted you to not to say, you don't need to sow. But what you were doing was you were storing up your storehouse for the new supply routes. And they're going to strategically be put in different places. Now, let me tell you something. Chuck Pierce said this, and God showed this to me. And let me tell you something, what I saw. Not only that, I told you I had a visitation when I saw warring angels. And then all of a sudden, I saw some more angels. And I saw them being placed in different parts of the region. And I, they didn't have the sword. And, I, and then they had the sword. And then I said, God, what is that? He said, those are the angels that's watching over the people of God's harvest. God says, I'm trying to make sure that what you what you sow, you got to have a harvest for it. But it's just not a regular harvest. Because I got to give you divine recovery. And the angels are watching over your harvest and telling the devil you can't even come near here. Oh, my God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And let me tell you what's going to mess everybody up. What's going to mess everybody up is that you're going to go to the computer and there's going to be a zero balance for your student loans. You're going to be calling the IRS and they're going to say you don't owe nothing. Anything that's been holding you back and had you in debt with a divine recovery, the angel of the Lord is watching over it and, uh, and making sure that you receive a harvest. Somebody said, I've been waiting a long time. You don't understand. You don't understand. The reason why you didn't get it so quick, because it's so much. If I went in the harvest field, if I went in the field to gather up the harvest and all I had to pick was a couple of oranges, that ain't going to take long. But if I was in the field with a harvest and they had cabbage and okra and peaches, it's going to take me a while. So God says, I got your harvest in different compartments. And he says, I, we're still gathering it. And he says, I'm about to dump it on you. I told the people of God, see, what you don't understand is that your seed knows its assignment. That your, your seed knows its assignment. If I take a watermelon seed and plant it in the ground, the seed knows to produce a watermelon. Because it knows its assignment. The seed understands its purpose. The seed ain't got no issues. You the one got the issue. The seed said, the moment you put it in the ground, I begin to move. Because I know my assignment. Oh, my God. And then the Lord began to tell me, I was talking to my husband. He says, it's so important because in the year to come and even the years now, your testimony is going to be the very thing that's going to cause you to have courage and fight for you. David was getting ready. to See, your testimony don't, it's not something that the devil can steal from you because you've already got that victory. David was getting ready to fight Goliath. And so he looked at him and he said, they said, well, you can wear this armor, which they just thought he was going to get killed anyway. See, people throwing you out in the field and they don't even know what you equipped with. They didn't even look at your resume. They should have Googled you. Because if they had Googled you, they would have saw that you killed the giant, you killed the bear, you killed the last season, you killed the season before that, you destroyed the enemy before that, you pulled down every mountain before that. My God, if 
if he had Googled you, he wouldn't have been messing with you. So David said, David said, oh, he said, I, you know I killed the lion and I killed the bear. That was his testimony. See, what, the, what they didn't understand is me giving you my testimony, me giving you my resume is I've already been tested. So this giant, this uncircumcised Philistine is nothing compared to what I've already went through. Oh, y'all, come on, y'all, come on. Come on. Okay, let me give you this. Recompense, okay. So we're going into a new supply route. It's going to show up and it's going to open up to you. God says, I've opened up a new porter in, in the Illinois area. It's a requirement for people. God says, patterns, they go, they're going to be going through the nations. Some of you are going to be at the valley of decision like Jehoshaphat. And God says, the enemy is trying to ruin your future. And the only way they can, you can hear is God is going to be speaking. You better get yourself in a prophetic church. Because fear will cry out and God call, will call a fast and tell you, listen, God says it is going to be prophets who spoke for the river and the battle, the battles. And, and, and God said they begin to make the cricket place strong. So let me just tell you this. It is so important that you understand that you're going to, your, your worship is really confusing the enemy. Your worship is confusing the enemy, but you're going to find yourself in a valley of decision where there's a prophetic word that will come over you where you will begin to operate in the supernatural power. You will cause chaos to be exposed and you will begin to manifest prosperity in its form with worship and a new level of prosperity. God says you're going to redevelop worship, daily intimacy. God is developing you in new ways and places. You're being infused by the power of God. You're going into a glory realm, an atmosphere, an atmosphere of infusion where you're seeing things coming together. This glory realm of infusion that's going to be sent out to you. God says that you're going to stand like a bulldog tenacity as he downloads the blueprint to you. You're going to look different. You're going to sound different. You're going to act different. And God says to tell you, don't be, don't be uh, afraid to be a risk taker. My God. Now let me give you this. It's a lie. God says, he says, you're returning to a new state of authority. As you enter into this new supply route, prophetic words, the only way that's going to be pushing you into it. You get ready to see the manifestation of prosperity in your worship level. He says, he's redeveloping your worship. You're going to see daily intimacy. God is developing you in new ways, different places. And God says, the glory realm in, and the atmosphere is coming together. In this glory realm, he says, I'm going to be sending you out. There's an anointing coming to, to people. Let me tell you something. You're going to have to start because the recession is going to hit really hard in 2023. And many of you are going to have to start going back to farming. You know, your, you know Mama then was from Mississippi and Alabama. They knew how to plant collard greens. And God's going to start using those organic products because what's going to happen, I want y'all to write this out. You're going to see a lot of products and a lot of manufacturers doing a lot of recalls. They're going to recall the meat. They're going to be recalling vegetables. They're even going to start recalling some cars. And I told you to invest in an electric car. They're putting the price down. Get it while it's low. So when the gas hit and there's a shortage of it and the line is long, you still will be able to get around, come around. And y'all must say, been to the grocery store lately. Eggs cost so much. The signs are all around us. God spoke to me. He says, we better watch China because God is saying China is getting ready to go through something because China and Russia and these other people, their God is mammon. And what has happened in the church is that we're seeing leaders in the church and in the ministry that they've turned their hearts away from God and their God is mammon. And God is getting ready to expose 
people who have been rape, raping the church. Because as you begin to rise up to a different frequency, they're not going to hear the sound. And they're going to look down and try to use old devices. They're going to be like Samson. Samson didn't know that his hair was cut off. That that was his strength. So when the Philistine, when they came to kill him, he went to do what he used to do. And it didn't work. You're going to see leaders who have been using old devices, have not listened to God, because judgment has come. Remember, I told you the sword is judgment. And they're going to try to use old devices, try to trick you with stuff, what they did years ago or even on, on last year. God says they're going to try to say, and it's going to cause their nakedness to be exposed. You better have a love for God like you've never had a love for him before. It's going to take a level of consecration that you have never experienced before. Because God is exposing. And let me tell you, there are people on, on, in club, not, not just in Clubhouse or Facebook. God told me, he said, at the beginning of the year, he says, I want you to unfriend some of the people. Because I don't want you to be attached. Sometimes we don't talk to people, but we're constantly looking on their page to see what they're doing. You don't even need to bother yourself with it. Because what will cause you to be, you'll find yourself comparing where you are to where they are. And you're saying, God, but they're not even living right. See, that's not even your concern. That's not a matter for you. You got to be so busy staying focused on what the Lord told you to do. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. You ain't got to do nothing. When people have done you wrong, God says, I'm going to bring you justice. He says, you just hang around. Just keep doing what you're doing. He said, the reason why I'm keeping them alive, because you got to prepare a table in their presence. Your success and your elevation will speak more volume of who you are than what they could ever do to you. Okay. Am I talking to somebody? So God is downloading new blueprint that you will look like you're going to look like no other nation. The favor of God is going to be upon you. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to have the anointing of Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a watchman on the wall. You got to be able to watch as well as pray. Stop walking around here dizzy, falling all out in the church service, thinking the only way the Holy Ghost is going to demonstrate is because you fall out and roll and speak in tongues and all over the place. What you going to stand out, how you going to stand out from anybody else and how they going to know that you are authentic is because you're going to have a takeover spirit. So next time you go to McDonald's and they talking to you any kind of way, say, don't bother, I'll be back because I'm about to buy this place. We're taking over. You're changing billboards. Come on. You're changing billboards. You don't like what that billboard said on you in your place? Go buy the whole billboard. They acting funny in your apartment complex? Tell them you'll be back. You're about to buy the whole apartment complex. It was this young lady that was in the nail salon. And I'm telling y'all right now, she was in the nail salon. And I, was, I asked them, could she do my nails? They said, no, she could only do feet. She's not that good. And they were talking down, on, on, just talking down at her. And she didn't say much. She was just doing the feet. And then a month later, I came back. And the girl that was doing my nails, I asked her, I said, are you still the manager here? She said, no, we have new manager, new owners. I said, well, who's the owner now? She said, you know that girl that was doing your feet? She's the owner. Y'all better watch it up in here. They treated you any kind of way. They talked to you any kind of way. But they didn't know that God was putting something in your bank account. He's making a deposit in your bank account so you could go and buy up stuff. You need, you got to ask them what time I keep up with my time. I got to. Okay, so let me give you this. The angels of war being assigned to territories. The army of the earth is receiving new armor and weapons. God says you're going to be reclosed, 
with that storehouse of weapons we haven't used or learn how to use these weapons. The, and he says it would be, uh, you would be uh, efficiently sharp. You got to be efficiently sharp. He says you're in into conquest of provision and is requiring an apostolic ruling. You're dethroning Baal, the removal of atmosphere, it, unbelief. And God says you're establishing the glory realm. You're shifting things in other cities. This is a test requiring kingdom confrontation. The year of the battle. And I'm telling y'all right now, those of you that have passive spirit, those of you that said the enemy just wreak havoc with your children and all that, you got to stop that. Because even in the year 2023 is a year of violent spirit. The kingdom of God is suffering violence, but the violent... You, you've been telling people, don't play with me. You don't know who I am. I don't play around with mountains. I don't I don't mess around with mountains. When I get to a mountain, they crumble. The violent take it by force. Look at somebody say you gotta be violent. Okay, so let me give you this. Let me give you this about recompense. Isaiah 34 and 8 says. For the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. But it is the day of the Lord, revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it has done to Israel. God says he's causing the enemy to pay you back. Some of you getting a check from the IRS. Some of you going to get a, a check from the light bill. They're going to say, you, your, your, your light bill is paid up. We're giving you a return check. Y'all better look for it. And so he says, for the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. For it is a day of the Lord, revenge. This year when Eden will be paid back for all it did to Israel. Is God's schedule time for vengeance? The year of all Zion's account are settled. Isaiah 34 and 8. God says, I'm about to settle your account. Let me hurry up. But the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of retribution to uphold. Now, let me tell you what God spoke, told me to speak this over you, and then we're going we gonna to let you go because let her come and pray. Jehovah El Jemuah. Know what that means? Jehovah El Jemuah, which is spelled E-L-G-E-M-U-W-A-L. You know what it means? Jehovah El Jemuah is being released. It's the Lord God of recompense. Oh, y'all, come on. The God who compensates and offends you. Recompense, make amends. The, the, and so then he says, tell him not only am I the Lord God of Jemua, the Lord God of recompense. He said, tell the people I'm Jehovah Mephahitai, which means the Lord will deliver. Then he says, which means my, you're my, my, he's my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Then there's a Jehovah, Jehovah Gomala, which is the Lord who rewards. God says, you're entering into a season where I'm going to reward you openly. Let me show you what I saw. I saw a door. I saw a door that you enter in. And... And I saw demons. When God opened up, when God opens up a door, no man could shut. The door was open. You enter in, and there was like a hundred demons trying to push the door closed and couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. And let me give you this. So he says to me to tell you this. He says, to tell the people of God, your harvest is coming to your nation. You're getting ready to be fully clothed. And I got to tell you this, what is so important. God began to speak to me about Apostle Lathan. And he began to speak to me about some generals. And he says, in 2023, the year recompense, he says, what is going to be released is going to be Wealth mantles, wealthy mantles. Now, wealth comes with finances, but wealth also comes with every single thing that you got to do. You're going to be prosperous in it. And what's on her life is a wealthy mantle. And as they begin to release the mantles on you, you'll be able to go out and do things that you have never, ever done before. 
And it's so important that you honor your leaders because those that were dishonored, the anointing that's on her life and the anointing on people's life, their days will be cut off. There's provision mantles that's being released right now. And God says these mantles, when we come in here and we tell you about prosperity, it's because these mantles are being released to get you to a place that you've never been. We're going into first fruit. It's, we got, I'm going to turn this. I got to turn it over to her. Give me about a couple of more minutes. I want to turn it over to her. God began to deal with me with so many things that's going to happen. But you coming out on top. You're going to have the challenges and don't go into war by yourself. Get your truth. Get your tribe. And y'all said, let's go in and win this war. We're going to do this together. So what, we, what do we do? There's an anointing that God placed and said to me. He says, the mantle that's being released. Y'all know I walk in that prosperity mantle. The mantle that's being released to the body of Christ tonight. Even as you enter into the first of the year with your first fruit. Deuteronomy talk about 11. A thousand what? God says, I'm going to bless you a thousand what? How many times? And let me tell you what else he said. He says what you're operating in is multiplication. In your DNA is multiplication. And so God is challenging you now. He said a thousand times more. There's several people tonight that God spoke that to. And he says what we're doing with our first fruit. And he says we're going to plant that seed. Our first fruit. Let me tell you something. Every time I do first fruit, what you do at the first of the year is perpetual. All during your generation. And the Lord said, your, your seeds is going to be perpetual, that it will go through every generation. Oh, my God. You're going to sit back, and, and you're going to see your children and your children's children and your children's children being blessed because of the multiplication that will go through every lineage. There's a portal that's open up here. And let me tell you something, the stuff, it's so much stuff I wanted to say, and I got to get out of the way, but I'm telling you right now, the stuff that Apostle went through, a lot of it had to do with what needed to be set in this house. I want you to get your first fruit. God says there were several of you that he wanted you to plant a seed of $1,000. I want you to come up real quickly. I want to pray for you right now. I know you're in here. I want to pray for you right now, because you're entering into new mantles with that. He's going to bless you a thousand times. I need you to come up. Come up real quickly. If that's you, I want you to come up real quickly. Y'all come up because it's, it's, it's uh, 1156. I got to get out of the way. But we want to hold this up because it's something on it. It's an anointing on it. There's several of you that God has already dealt with you. He says you're going to do it a thousand times over. A thousand times over. Even if you have to put it on your credit card, in less than 24 hours, it'll be paid for. Because there's, a, there's an anointed. Like I told you, I saw the abundance of rain coming. But inside the rain, it looked like it was dirty. But in the, it wasn't dirty because it had fertilization in it. So the rain is going to hit your seed and it's going to spring up with your harvest. I want you to come up real quickly. And Apostle Layton, she's going to be praying. We're going to go into the new year. But I want you to come up real quickly. Thank you, Father. God sent you here. You're sponsoring the kingdom. He sent you here. We need to move quickly. We need to move quickly. Those of you that's uh, listening right now, there's some of you, there's about 20 of you that God is speaking to you even on the air. I mean, on, on, uh, on what is it? Social media. God is speaking to you. I need you to move quickly. I feel an anointing. I feel a strong anointing for finances. It's real strong. If you've been struggling, this is the time to say, you know what, God? What I do tonight is going to determine everything else that's going to happen for me in the year 2023. 
Another thing I want you to read Psalm 23. Because the Lord is going to be your shepherd in a real way like you have never experienced before. Get ready. I kept seeing that. Psalm 23, you better stand on it. He's going to take you to a place of peace. Thank you, Lord. Y'all come on up because I'm going to lay hands on you. Those of you that's coming, I want you to come on up now. I need you to come on up. And if y'all want to do the credit card, but I do need you to stand right now because it is an anointing for it. I need you to move quickly. He says he's going to cause it to happen a thousand times. A thousand times. Yes. If that's you, that's it. You're setting a standard. You're setting a standard. Yes. If you're bringing the seed, I want you to come on up now. He says a thousand times. Thank you, Jesus. This is for those who've given the seed of a thousand dollars. A thousand times. Thank you, Father. Oh, I got to get out of the way. Some of you saying, I didn't have that. Come on, come on. There were about 20 of you that God spoke to me to give that. If that's you, I need you to move quickly. Apostle, when am I supposed to do his 59 seconds and they're still coming? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Come on up. Come on up. I'm going to lay hands on you. We're going into the new year. Then I want those of you that are sitting there, get a seed in your hands. Get a seed in your hands. Those of you that can plant a seed of $220. $230. That's what God said. $230. Or get a seed of $23. Come on, get it in your hand. Let's pray. Hallelujah. We we almost there. I mean, th there it is. It's a happy new year now. It's a happy new year now. Come on, bring your seed up. It's a happy new year. Oh, my mama shake it a little shot. Come on, come on. Come on, come with your seed right now. We're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm giving my first seed. This is your first offering. Your life will never be the same. Come on, everybody, come up with your seed. Hold it up and say, Happy New Year to my seed. Come on, say, Happy New Year to my seed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and honor for it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to ask Apostle Nathan to come and pray over y'all. As y'all come, everybody get a seat in their hands. Happy New Year. The year of recompense. Look at somebody say it's the year of recompense. You need the mic to pray. You want me to go ahead? Thank you, Lord. Come on, hold those seeds up. Look at somebody say, I decree that my seed will cause me to be a distribution center. I will never be broke from this day forward. I am the bank. I am the bank. I will be a lender and not a borrower. I'm blessed. $10,000. I don't know who you are, but it's something that God wants you to do for the kingdom. And people are giving online. I bless the people online, my God. But there's somebody that was supposed to give this ministry $10,000 tonight. I don't know who you are, but if you obey God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on. Look at somebody say, I'm the bank. God is bringing me recompense. Come on, say, God is bringing me recompense. Come on, shout, God is bringing me recompense. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you might as well stand to your feet right now. Apostle is going to, the 
Is she here yet? Come on, stand to your feet. Come on, stand to your feet. Thank you, Lord. I feel God healing up here. Come on, let's do Happy New Year. Come on, let's go to shop. I pray over you right now. The anointing of God is blessing you. You'll never be the same. He's blessing you going out. He's blessing you coming in. He's blessing your seed and your seed seed. Come on, come on. They're still bringing offerings. Thank you, Lord. I don't know who that person is, but there's somebody that God has already dealt with to get $10,000 because there's a check. That's just a tithing off a check that you have been waiting for. You're getting ready to get a $100,000 check. The Lord says this is a year that you say and that you see. But what you don't understand is by the time you say it, it already is ahead of you. See, by the time you say it, go ahead. And by the time you see it, it's already ahead of you. It's already in motion. So your seeing and your saying is just catching up with your stuff. Oh, y'all need to come on and give the Lord a praise up in here. Come on, get a seat. This is your first fruit. This is your first fruit. Everybody needs to participate in this. This is your first fruit. We bless those of that my mouth shaking the robo shata. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. I thought, uh, what do they want me to do? Okay. Glory to God. I feel like dance. Come on, y'all blow y'all horns and we made it. I said we made it. I said we made it. But he says 
Oh, y'all better come. Is it y'all wallowing in the wealth? Look at somebody say, look at me. I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with myself. They're still giving offerings. Don't let the people be. <laughs> oh my God. Get ready. The honey, they still giving offerings. My God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody check their breast. The lump is gone. Ooh. Somebody's knees will bother them, and God just put cartridge back in your knees. Go ahead and shake it. Glory to God. Shake it. Glory to God. Y'all come on. Y'all might as well be blessed. Who I turn this over to? Pastor Masses. Y'all, I'm still shout. Go ahead, Brother Norm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've been blessed to service. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the word that has went forth. Father, we thank you, Lord God, Father, for what you were about to do. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, Father, that as we, Lord God, transition, oh God, we thank you that the grace of God and the sweet communion of the precious Holy Spirit would hence found that would be hence now, press forth now and forever, and all of God's people shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That ends this service. Amen. Give God some praise. Saints, just want to remind you, amen, of born tomorrow. Amen. That uh, we will have service.